Hey golf people, on this episode I'm going to show you my results with the Callaway Big Bertha driver and I will come right out of the box telling you that this may be the worst driver, at least for me, <laughs> that I have hit in a very, very long time. I think since I've been reviewing drivers on this show, I don't know what it is about this driver and me just did not get along. <laughs> And it's almost comical. That's why I'm laughing. It's almost comical. Now, there's a lot of reasons I don't like this driver. First of all, I think the price is way too high. Number two, I think the looks are, quite frankly, very dated. This driver looks like something I used back in 1996. It doesn't look modern. The materials don't look modern. It's not a cool retro. There's different ways to do retro. You can do retro in a cool way. For instance, I think Cobra kind of does that in some of their lines where if you look at the top of the driver it has more of a retro feel something that harkens back and then if you look at the bottom it looks cool and modern this is not that it just looks old and dated and tired and swinging it i felt like i was hitting the distances i hit back in 1996 when i wasn't all that great of a golfer Honestly, I have nothing really good to say about this driver in any way, and I'm a fan of Callaway. It's not that I'm trying to bash Callaway. I play the Rogue ST. I love that driver. It works very well for me, and this one does not. I can't see myself justifying the price, but I'm going to just show you the swings, and you can make the decision for yourself. Maybe I was swinging really poorly that day, although I doubt it because... I also swung the Big Bertha irons, and those performed very well, in my opinion. So I don't think it was my swing, but I'd love for you to analyze these. Uh, I will tell you that the audio, I actually had to change cameras halfway through on this episode because I had a battery die on me, so the audio will shift and change, and it's not as good as I would like it to be, but I want to show you the raw stuff the raw footage so you can make the decision for yourself about this particular driver and as always the only real way you can make a decision for yourself is to go out and try this which i highly recommend but i'm going to show you here why i think this is 100 percent not the driver for me now if you're wondering i've got the mamiya stiff helium shaft on this thing the driver head I have on here is nine degrees, but I've got it turned up to 10 degrees where I like it. We've got neutral settings apart from that on the driver. We've got a T on there at 275. This is a very light feeling driver. It might be the lightest driver I've played. <laughs> Whew, I couldn't tell you when. All right, first one came off the club face low, but it's dead straight but not a whole lot of distance there, guys. It rolled out to 208, but it only carried 176. Better swing there, but I'm just not getting it off the ground. Again, if it wasn't for a rollout, I wouldn't have anything. The backspin non-existent, 400 RPMs. No, that can't be right. That can't be right. No. All right, so as you can see, I had spin numbers around 400, 500 RPM. Struck out the side. Wakefield's doing his part. Red Sox back, bottom of the sixth. Up two to one. Now here I've actually switched to the exact shaft that I have in my Rogue ST. This is the Tensei 55 gram stiff shaft. Unfortunately, the results weren't any better. Still going in. Maybe it's a club head. What was the spin on that? 400. The spin was 431. I don't even know how that's possible. For me, I should be up around 1800. That's about normal. <laughs> I mean, there's low spin drivers, and then there's apparently this great big Bertha. You can see it's got a lot of draw spin on it, it's got a lot of overspin. That one rolled out to 232, but that's about my normal carry. Again, backspin there, 660, a blistering 660. It carried 195, guys, 195. I'm gonna take one more swing with this. Not better. That was a 
good swing. But that backspin is going to be so low. low. I'm not getting any lift, even with the shaft change yeah. here. My spin now up to 766, but still, guys, not acceptable. That's not the acceptable range. Carry 207, rolled out to 245. That's all roll because there's no spin. Guys, this is not, not going to be a driver for me. For, I'd be struggling to find out who this driver is for, to be quite honest with you. I really loved the great big Bertha irons. I cannot say the same for this driver. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I'm perplexed. So if you know me and my swing, and you can see it there, even if you don't on the simulator, I've got a draw. That's the, the shot I played. Now this driver very heavily draw biased, as I mentioned earlier. So I decided, let me just see if hitting more of a fade type swing can solve the problem and get me a little bit more spin, a little bit more lift. Well, as you can see, it helps a little bit, but just not enough. So that was me trying to hit a fade shot. Got the spin up to 1300 there. Carry 241, 268 with the rollout. There you go. Maybe I swing it first. I'm definitely getting it out there considerably further all of a sudden. And ooh, we were so close to the fringe there. Carry 240, total 271. That's a little better. The spin still way down. Still 600 RPM down for me. That's 1227. I'm gonna hit one more and then we're gonna analyze these numbers. That's really big. Because <laughs> I've really had that club face open. I'd say it's safe to say this isn't the driver for me. Not to say it couldn't be the driver for you, but for me, it spins a little bit too low. Did get the spin up to 2000 there, but that thing was a severe fade, almost slice territory. Carried 231, total distance 255. Yeah, so hitting those fade shots definitely helped my numbers a little bit, but still wasn't getting me to the territory where I could say this driver was anything better, certainly not better, but maybe not even in comparison to a lot of the drivers we've tested on this show that are considerably less expensive. So I can't recommend this driver. Certainly it didn't suit my game. It might suit your game. As I mentioned, you've got to try it for yourself, but this is probably the worst performing driver that I've personally hit in the last three, four, five years, maybe longer. And again, I don't know what the reason was. It just does not suit me in any way, shape, or form. Here's a driver that does suit me. It's the Callaway Rogue ST. It's the driver in my bag. Check out that review. Because like I said, this is not a Callaway problem. This is just a great big Bertha 2023 model problem and maybe just a mere mortal problem too. But check this one out and I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.